Hello, and thank you for joining us today on the Gentle Art of Crushing It show, where we focus on learning and sharing with our listeners all there is to know about how to create success in our lives. This show stands on the shoulders of giants. Our mission is to empower and inspire our listeners to create the life of their dreams whilst having a blast in the process. Let's celebrate life together. Welcome to the show. Hello, and thank you so much for joining another episode of The Gentle Art of Crushing It. So uh, it's a solo show today. You're going to be flying solo with me. And so I am grateful for you know your presence, your listening. And uh, just know that, hey, my whole goal here with this uh, entire episode with all the different shows and the different hosts is to inspire you um, on towards taking action, uh, you know, in building the life of your dreams now, right? Okay. So with that being said, thank you so much again. I'm very, very grateful for you. Um, Today, we are going to go over four steps um, that you can take while, you know, you're working on becoming unstuck. So, you know, obviously we've got to, you know, sort of come to this realization that we are stuck somewhere in life. And so we can call that step zero, uh, you know, and so once we do notice that, hey, we are stuck, uh, you know, just remember, okay, before you even begin on this journey of becoming unstuck and getting where you want to be, one of the best tools that we have at our you know disposal at any point in time is the you know the act of being grateful for so we want to be grateful for where we are at now uh, because essentially if we can handle our state right now if we can figure out how to be get in getting into a peak state at any point in time we're much more effective than uh you know if we are at like you know uh, let's say a a level 1 state out of a 10 where 10 is a peak state right okay so living in a state of joy enjoying life and being present for your life and for your family um is a challenge that we all want to work on now so this is all part of step 0 because my point is this Let's say we are, you know, feeling, uh, you, you know, uncomfortable or dissatisfied where we're at, you know, with where we're at right now. And that's part of what leads us to believe that we're unstuck. Well, what can happen is as we become unstuck and we hit these huge goals and ha- ma- celebrate massive victories down the road, if we don't handle, you know, figuring out how to be in a peak state right now at, at any point in time, uh, you know, how to, you know, stop and smell the roses, how to appreciate life. Uh, then, you know, we're going to have to handle that, you know, one year down the road, three years down the road, five years down the road, whenever we hit the goals that supposedly, you know, are going to make us so happy in life, right? So that's part of step zero, just making sure that um, we are stuck and we are becoming unstuck for the right reasons, okay? And, you know, figuring out how to get into a peak state when we're not. So there's a lot of ways we can do that, you know, cold plunges, exercise, meditation, um, you know, inspiring, you know, audio books and podcasts. I love the book, uh, The Power of Positive Thinking, and I listen to that a few times a week. There's a condensed version out there. It's like 44 minutes long. And so, you know, just for example, that will help you to get in a peak state. But for me personally, I love exercise. It really helps me to get in the peak state. So we'll call that step zero. Step one would be, you know, to identify where it is you want to be. So where do you want to go with all this work that that you're doing on yourself, right? Uh, so a great way to do that would be to, you know, sit down and maybe give yourself an hour, maybe even up to four hours. And what I like to do is sit, you know, outdoors while I'm doing this and have zero distractions. So you can have your phone nearby, but you want it turned off or just leave it someplace else. You just need a pad of paper. And what you're going to do is sort of give yourself, you know, what I would recommend is, is do three things. One, okay, write out your ideal day. So give yourself, you know, 30 minutes on that. What does my ideal day look like? Where am I living? How much of that day am I working? How much am I spending time with my family? That sort of thing. Step two you know, where do you want to be in your whole life? So a one or three year vision, sort of like a vivid vision, but make it having to do with your personal life as opposed to just your business, right? So you can mix business and life, okay? Step three is take from that, those two, your ideal day and your, your one to three year vision, and then you know, you want to go ahead and pull out five to 10 goals that you can start working on right away. 
Okay, so, you know, give yourself a timeline on, you know, goals one through five, you know, at least, okay, if you can put yourself a timeline on if you do 10, I wouldn't really recommend actually going past five, I wouldn't recommend definitely going past 10, because it gets to a point to where, you know, it's just, it's just way too much, right? So that's for me personally, if you can handle a lot more, uh, you know, and uh, then, then that's great. And I do believe that there is power in having like, let's say 100 written goals. The, but I use 100 goals in a different way where I will write out 100 goals and then I will look at those maybe, you know, once a month, a couple of times a quarter. But these five to 10 goals that you're going to write out from your ideal day in your, you know, one year vision to three year vision, um, those goals, you want to look at those once a week, you know, at the latest, if not, you know, ideally would be daily. OK, so give yourself the timeline and then you want to start to identify some habits that you can start to engage in right now that will help you to hit these targets, to hit all those goals. OK, um, the third thing is that now we have sort of your uh, plan, then let's go ahead and start taking action on it. What can you do today? So every single day, ask yourself, what is one thing that I can do today that can move the needle forward? Um, you know, Dan Sullivan goes with three things. Once he completes those three things for the day, he's totally done. And I absolutely love that because if your three things are big and he's in a different place than, you know, I am. So, to, so you know, keep that in mind. But, you know, if you if you have three things, major goals that you're going to take action on and you're going to accomplish for that day and they are, you know, moving the needle forward, then you've had a successful day. OK, so the fourth thing and this might be they're they're all, you know, incredibly important. But this one is maybe the most important step and that is to network, network, network. Now, when you're networking, what I would recommend is you find, you know, one to five mentors that are, you know, of, of the level of about five years from where you're at right now, or at about the level of where you write your three year vision and start meeting with them. You know, it, it, you're always asking them, how can I add value to you? And you're thinking to yourself, oh, I noticed they could use some help there. Can I help you with this? Can I help you with this? What's in it for me, WIIFM, that, you know, famous radio station that we're, we all just, you know, can't stop thinking about. We want to flip that and think, what is in it for them? How can I bless them? How can I bring value to them? They will, you know, uh, level you up, help to level you up just by, you know, spending some time with them because you begin to notice that your subconscious, you know, begins to notice and your, and your conscious begins to notice that there are people operating at this level that you want to be. So it's very, very accomplishable. The more that you hang out with them, the more you know I can do this. Um, you also want to be hanging out with networking with people that are about six months ahead of where you're at right now. So a very, very close proximity to where your goals are at right now or what you've accomplished currently, but also in the same sort of trajectory that you're working towards, right? Um, the last area is sort of pay it forward, right? Um, so that would be maybe find, you know, a mentee or two uh, that you can actually pour into and bless. And um, this will give you a the law of recipro reciprocity, you know, B, it, it feels amazing. C, you know, uh, uh, pay it forward, right? So um, and then D, it is it is really teaching our minds in our subconscious, right? That abundance is here and abundance is here and abundance is here and now and to experience abundance, right? And so, uh, you know, I hope that these all help, uh, you know, this is uh, this has been a helpful pattern for me. And um, again, one of the things that are so huge for me that are so helpful for me is the networking. You have to be intentional, especially if you're as busy as I am. You have to be intentional with networking and you have to make it happen. Right. And so um, but you also want to be, you know, making it enjoyable for you and the other person. So, you know, one of the last most important things that we can be aware of right there is like this is a human being, uh, you know, and so how can we, you know, uh, again, bring value to them. But what I'm trying to say is like top most important uh you know aspect of networking is making friends 
So we all love friends. We all love making friends, especially those that encourage and support us. So be that person who encourages and supports your friends and, you know, make that multimillionaire down the street or in this Facebook group that, you know, or online somewhere, make them your friend, uh, you know, and, uh, and bless them, bless their socks off. Right. And I hope this, uh, you know, uh, podcast right here has blessed your socks off. That is again, the goal. Um, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I really appreciate your time. I hope that you have a, a an, an awesome day and just remember, please make this life magnificent. And with that, I will go ahead and sign off you know, to another episode of The Gentle Art of Crushing It. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of The Gentle Art of Crushing It. It was an amazing episode. We know we sure learned a lot, and we hope you did as well. We want to take a second and thank you so much for viewing or listening to this episode. And please just know that we only ask for one favor, and that is to make this life magnificent. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.